Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's study the preparation of Hello Arenes actually here. Arenes from electrophilic substitution. So in this, normally we'll prepare aryl chloride, aryl bromide or aryl iodide. So what we do here is we take this uh, toluene and then we in this we add uh, chlorine or bromine any of these any of these and use iron please note iron is mandatory here and it has to be dark so with that what you get is you have a toluene here and at ortho and para position you will get x x is nothing but chlorine or bromine ortho or para this is ortho ortho halotoluene and this is para hello so you will get two of these products and this can be easily separated because they have different melting point right now see what is the reaction going on here see the chlorine when it reacts with iron it gives FeCl3. Similarly, bromine also when it reacts with iron, it's get FeBr3. And these work exactly similar like AlCl3. So we have seen AlCl3. So what it does is now I'll show you FeCl3 when it reacts with chlorine will give you FeCl4 minus and Cl plus. This is what it will give, and this will be a my electrophile here because to produce electrophile I need iron. Hope you understood the criticality of iron because without iron I will not be able to produce chlorine electrophile. Correct? Why in the absence of light? Because in the presence of light this chlorine will form chlorine free radical. Right? So we want this experiment to be in absence of light and why iron? Because iron will help in formation of electrophile. So let's see the reaction what happens is so this is my toluene. Let's see. Now toluene is ortho and para writing group. So at ortho and para it will have a, a high density of negative charge. Right? This we have seen actually in class 11th also because since electron donating group and ortho and para it will have slight negative charge. You can draw the resonating structure of this toluene and you will find that the ortho and para it will have slight negative charge. So, my Cl plus will obviously attack this position, any of these. So, let me assume it is attacking at this position. So, when it attacks this position, what will happen? This bond breaks, right? And there's a, please note, there's a H already there, right? So, this bond breaks, and what will happen here is this bond breaks into negative and positive. So this is positive charge, and there was a negative here, and this negative and this Cl plus will form a bond here this hydrogen came here hydrogen already there so this is what it will form correct my chlorine has attacked this position because this ortho was an electron rich position because the toluene toluene is an ortho directing group ortho is an electron rich position and chlorine attacked this position and this is what you got now this is it will stay unstable so this hydrogen bond will break and will form a bond here correct so with this what you will get is this H plus will go out and H plus will go out. And this H plus can now attach with Cl minus here to become HCl because this FeCl flow minus right it will attach and become HCl. That is how it reacts. Hope you understood the reaction mechanism. Now similarly for I2, the reaction is reversible. Why? Because I minus is very reactive, right? So to move this reaction in the forward direction, what we do, see for example in this case, what you get is HI or HCl, right? So if you use I2 here, you get HI here because I am what I am getting here is Cl minus. You add become HCl. So what you get is HI. So if, if somehow I can consume this HI, because 
I minus can easily go to I two. Very good. H I is very reactive. So if somehow I can consume this H I, I can proceed this reaction in the forward direction because H I is a output of this reaction. So what we do is to do this, we use oxidizing agents such like such as H N O three. These oxidizing agent will convert H I to I two. It will consume the H I actually. From this system, right? So if H I is consumed, this reaction won't go in the backward direction. Hope you understand. Since iron is very reactive, and if I get H I here, H I itself is very reactive. We'll try to push the reaction in the backward direction. But we want to avoid this. So what we do is we add H N O three nitric acid, which will do nothing but oxidize H I to I two, and thus H I will be consumed from this whole system, and the reaction will will proceed in the forward direction. And please note, fluoro compound you cannot form with this reaction because F minus is very very reactive. It's very very reactive. It's explosive actually. So you cannot use this for fluoro compound. So generally used for chloro and bromo, and sometimes also for iodo compound. Thank you. Visit examfear. com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.